Hi everyone, welcome to BIMmodel.com. In this video tutorial, we will be discussing introduction to electrical systems. What are the options available in Revit? And what are the electrical systems that we are going to create? What are the electrical components available in Revit? This is a basic introduction. So you'll be able to understand the electrical components, which are plant room. What is plant room and what components will be there inside and what is cable tray. So th those details you have to understand. You can take this as an exercise. You have to search in Google or some other platform that what is plant room, what is generator do and what are the electrical cable trays containments are available and how to um, uh, use them actually so what are the size different size available you have to search it in Google so that you will be able to understand by seeing the pictures how do they use it in the building so similarly contact most of the people know that via contact we will be passing through the cables and lighting design placing the lights and how to connect the lighting circuits will be discussed in the later sessions so let's go back and discuss plant room this is how it looks i'm just showing you one image you have to google it and see what are the different ways the plant rooms will be designed and what are the elements will be there in the plant room you have to google it and see a couple of images videos you'll be able to know what is it and so you can see that distribution boards will be their main mcb panels will be there cable trays will be um, drawn horizontally vertically and even you can see them in the ceiling um, it will be hanged from the ceilings also and you can see some of the distribution boards which are maybe uh, uh, which are hanged in the walls in the sides cable trays are in the below and horizontally and vertical both the directions available so usually we will be having a generator in a building so we can make a connection from generator equipment to the board and board to the uh, distribution board and to the uh, equipments what we have lightings and power circuits we can connect it so you have to know uh, what where it will be placed it will be under the ground or outside the building so it depends on the requirement or the allocation so it will be placed electrical panels it could be any panels like starting from the main panel MCB or to the uh, sub distribution boards it can be anything or lighting distribution board it can be anything so you have to know that there is a component called distribution board or the electrical panel in rivet uh, electrical equipment so you you have to uh, search these terms and you'll be able to understand cable trays and contacts yes uh, by name you can understand cable trays are uh, the way of managing cables the cables will be laid out uh, via cable tray so that we will be able to easily arrange it and manage it and protect it from the other uh, elements which is passing through these services like cable tray or uh, uh, it may be a pipe or something so it should be arranged in a proper way so containment or cable tray would be useful so contact will be a protective device for the wires it could be uh, uh, harm, harmful for the environment the wires are uh, disturbed by the uh, people around it or some environmental factors uh, it may be damaged so it should be protected from the environment so it's it's enclosed with the contact it could be inside the wall or outside the wall so anyways contacts will be there you can say that the rigid contacts also there and flexible contacts also there to connect it make a connection in the places so uh, further to the class we will be discussing lighting fire alarm desired device and data protection uh, devices security devices we will be discussing one of that a lighting designing layouts also will be discussing we will not be discussing the lighting design we will be understanding how to model them in Revit uh, using uh, um, tools available with Revit. We'll be placing a couple of circuits in uh, in room and we'll be making a connection and how to create the uh, distribution system and voltage in the layouts. Fire alarm commons uh, are there so we have to uh, connect it if you know how to create one systems like 
power system and you will be able to make the other connections like fire alarm devices and data securities and access controls can be connected in the similar way so you have to know one one system properly how to make a connections and this will be easy for us while making it so uh, that's it for this tutorial uh, i hope uh, stay tuned uh, follow the upcoming videos we will be discussing one by one one service by another service and we'll be going towards uh, completion of this sessions i look forward to see you on the next tutorial uh, do visit bimolo.com if you have any service needs and see you on the later tutorials.